Hello everyone, this is HB ProBook G3450. Today we're going to try how to fix power problem for HP ProBook 450 G3. Okay, recently this one doesn't turn on. There was an incident happen. So liquid dropped at the rear when it was shut down and then it blown this 4 GB RAM. And since then, whenever I press the power button, it doesn't turn on. When I plug in the charger, you're going to see in a minute. When I plug in the charger, it shows the amber light. Sometimes it does flush. But once I press in here, this charging indication gone off and nothing does happen. So I changed the RAM. I'm going to show you what happened. As you can see, this RAM stick does have a little bit of kind of oxidation in here and kind of burn. Okay. So there was a kind of little chip here which was already blown away from this side. So I thought if I change the RAM, it should be fine, but it didn't. So now we did observe it and we found the problem on the RAM. So we're going to open up this machine, take out, pull out the motherboard and we'll try to find if there is any liquid sign or damage sign, then we can identify it. Let me show you the model number for one more time okay so that's the actual model let's zoom in yeah that's the actual model okay so now i'm going to show you what does happen so let's connect the charger and see what happened it shows and it gone off okay let's press the power button and see what happened okay nothing comes on no light here no light there so light's gone okay so this time it's shown white frosted color and sometimes brownish sometimes there is no light okay so let's open it up and check honestly what happened all right so we're going to close and open up first thing is to open up the battery We're going to remove all the screws that we can see from here. So I'll start from right here. So that's the top part. 
the power board and trackpad. We'll leave it on the side. And now we're going to check the motherboard this side if there is any issue or not. So let me zoom in and just to show you the motherboard how it looks. Okay. It's going to be a little bit shaky because I'm using my hand to record it. But as I seen on the board, there is no issue, nothing get warm when you plug it in. Okay. And every single thing is fine. Okay. So now what I'm feeling, let's flip the board and check if you don't find any liquid damage sign then what i'm thinking so when the liquid dropped into the when the liquid dropped into the ram when the ram went faulty might be this one produced a lot of electricity which one push back to the board and it damaged the bios that's what might be happen so we have to remember before we give it up we must need to reset the BIOS. I'm going to show you how to reset the BIOS for this model and almost for any HP. Okay. So let's open up the motherboard and check what happened if there is any liquid sign in the other side. Okay. So first disconnect all. There is no any liquid sign as you can see. So that's the top part. There is no any sign. Nothing damage, no bubbly, any MOSFET or anything. Let's check the other side, which one was not visible. Also, I can see all of them are absolutely fine. There is no any physical damage. All the connectors everything is okay all right so if you have this sort of situation you have to follow one guidance to fix it and if you do have any sign of liquid damage then you do have different way different pattern to fix this power issue for this model or for any model okay so if you do have any sign of liquid damage then follow another video the link would be in the video description but if you don't see any sign of liquid damage but it is not turning on then i would say there is something else not liquid yes regardless this one happened by this ram stick or not definitely it damaged the actual bios okay so how are you going to reset the bios first of all let's pull out the battery the battery taking out is a little bit tricky, but it should come out. Good. So that's the CR2032 battery. Now what are we going to do? We're going to make a short plus and minus. So there is plus. Okay. And there is minus so I'm gonna put it together so let's put it here and touch it there so leave it like that connected for a few seconds okay so the plus and minus both of them connected for a couple of seconds or less than six seconds okay like that this is plus and that is minus so once it connect it's gonna be fine I just need to pull this out, connect it, okay, that's fine. It's already been resetted. Now we're going to close it back and see if there is any uh, improvement, if there is any lack or not. So now I'm going to pop in the battery again and we're going to assemble it.
so let's press the power and check right now it shows the amber light is stable let me double try and check before it was on like that so it used to flush yeah now as you can see the amber light is quite stable so let's press the power button and check if the things already resolve or not good so there is one beep noise and it says a request has been made to change the system secure boot configuration which may affect the secure boot keys and or may disable secure boot please type in and enter the below number to authorization okay so that's mean the actual problem was somehow the actual bios had a glitch that's the reason why this uh, charging indicator used to flush and then gone off okay and when you take it out and reset it it comes back to normal okay so let's enter the password and see what happened i mean authentication code 0099 hit enter all right so it seems like something is happening like restarting should be back to normal now okay Okay, it's turning up again. Alright, so we can see there is a kind of little circle going on. Alright, so the machine has fixed. Everything is fine, the charging, then the BIOS and with the old operating system okay so if you do have any issues similar to that with hp the hp made it easy obviously uh, especially with their bio system okay because this is one of the great company hp they always try their best to keep the bios is more flexible either to update or reset and stuff when the other companies doesn't have so let me know if you did sort out your one in the similar way okay still if you do have any question regarding this model or regarding this issue i mean the flashing in but no display no powers up then i'll try my best to reply through the comment and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel i hope i'll see you in the next video guys bye for now thank you